this book is a culmination of many years of work, much more sophisticated than we had in the early days, the tools, the uh, computing power, to the point where we can do some really exciting things. And I think that that excitement carries through in the book, and everyone who reads it will feel that enthusiasm about raising the market uh, to a new level uh, in that great tradition started by Ben Graham and the other founders of the NYSSA. High Yield Future Tense is a book that, as the title suggests, looks forward. Not a retrospective, not a how-to basic book, of which some, there are some very good ones about high yield bonds, but looking forward, how it's evolving, how you can thrive in this environment as you adapt to the changes and learn about the new techniques that are becoming available. We have contributors from a range of countries, not only the United States, but also Germany, Sweden, China. So that is a further diversification, if you will, of the points of view presented in the book, in addition to which we have both buy side and sell side practitioners, the rating agencies represented as well, and then the academic contributors. So it enriches the learning experience from this book to get not only a variety of topics, but a variety of points of view. The first section of the book is on market dynamics. We have a fascinating chapter on underwriter reputation and certification by Christian Andres and some of his colleagues in the German academic world. And the point of this really is that traditionally the view has been that underwriters certify the quality of the deals that they underwrite and build up a reputation uh, for excellence and uh, for reliability. And the idea is that they would never jeopardize that reputation uh, because of the value that it creates in the market. What this study actually finds is quite different. The deals that are underwritten by the top three underwriters, those that ought to have the best reputation in the market, actually have a higher probability of being downgraded or actually going into default. And furthermore, the market recognizes that and attributes a larger risk premium to those deals, which is contrary to the view that they ought to come at a smaller premium as a reflection of the reputation of those underwriters. The second section of the book is on active management, and we have a fascinating contribution by uh, Jason Thomas of the Carlisle Group dealing with the credit risk premium. Now, what's interesting about this is that investors are very focused on spread versus treasuries as an indication of value in the high-yield market, and the general belief is that those uh, spreads change as a result of changes in expected default losses and liquidity. But what Thomas shows is that a significant part of the change in the spread versus treasuries over time is a result of that change in that residual, that credit risk premium. And furthermore, that credit risk premium is a predictor of the excess returns, the return that you earn over and above treasury rates by investing in high yield. So a very different uh, view of it than is widely used among practitioners and in, in theory as well. So we think this is a very important uh, uh, contribution in the book. In the section entitled Analytical Innovation, we have a contribution by Michael Palladino and some of his colleagues at Fitch Ratings that talks about emerging trends in recovery analysis. Now for someone investing in high yield bonds, uh, you're interested not only in the probability that the company will fail, but also how much you'll recover if it does. And uh, that is subject to a lot of analysis. A lot of that's well established, but there are some changes going on that uh, Palladino and his colleagues discuss. The uh, last section of the book deals with benchmarking. Uh, and Claudio Ferrarese and his colleagues from Fidelity have a very important contribution dealing with an alternative index for global high yield. And what this is about is that the concept of smart beta has now become well established in the equity world. The idea is that if you just buy an index that's weighted according to the market capitalizations of the companies represented in the universe, 
it's not necessarily the best or the optimal mix to achieve. And when you apply this to the uh, bond world, and particularly to high yield, it's not at all clear that you want to own the most of the bonds of the companies that have the highest amount of debt. Those may be the worst credits just because they have so much debt that they're really over leveraged. So the Fidelity Group uh, comes up with an alternative way of weighting the index and they demonstrate that you generate a superior risk adjusted return by using that as a benchmark rather than the traditional market capitalization weighted indexes. The High Yield Bond Conference is a combination of a general session uh, bringing you the current up to the minute, uh, cutting edge developments in what's happening in the market, what's going on in credit, uh, where the value lies in the market, uh, practitioners who are on the front line in uh, trading this market every day. We have a master class, which is a combination of presentations and panels that discuss the real building blocks of the high yield market how covenants work, how credit analysis is done, how that's applied to valuation. And the benefit of this is that we have practitioners not just giving you a academic sort of treatment of it, but talking about how things really work in the trenches. And most importantly, they separate the wheat from the chaff. When you talk about the lore of the market, the stories that you hear about why you should buy a particular bond, and what really constitutes value, uh, what really drives the performance of bonds and of sectors within the high yield market. That's the story that you're not going to find in venues outside of a conference like this. The other benefit is the opportunity to uh, interact in a way that Ben Graham really emphasized in his time of talking to other investors, sharing ideas, uh, tremendous value. And finally, uh, everyone who attends the High Yield Conference will receive as part of the cost of registering a copy of the book High Yield Future Tense on the day of its publication.